Good day, Kurt here again with Airsoft Taiwan. But today I'd like to introduce another new tool that we are selling. This is a plastic reamer and um, originally designed for remote controls like uh, the thin Lexan bodies reaming holes, but um, it has much more uses than that. I found there's all kinds of uses for it. Uh, this is made from CNC aluminum with a nice iodized coating. One feature that's nice, it's got a nice swivel on the end here. So when you have it on your palm and you're turning it, it doesn't rub your palm or make it sore after doing a lot of holes. The protective cover, because it's very sharp, is held on by an O-ring here and fits nice and tight, seals up solid. You can see here that this tool has a bunch of graduations in millimeters. You come kind of starting out around two, three, four, all the way up to 13 millimeter holes. Now, you can use this tool for just about anything around the house for any type of plastic, like arts and craft projects. I've used it for scooter fairings. I've used it on the inner fender well of my truck to put an airline through it um, for putting mud flaps on. Uh, just unlimited uses for anything that's like plastics or really thin pieces of wood or uh, even fiberglass. It will bore through very nicely. Now I'd like to talk about the precision of this tool. Because of the markings on the blade here, you can easily make a hole to any size you want. And I found when you watch these lines, the holes are almost always perfect. I'm gonna make a couple holes here now. Using the graduated lines. And you can see when it cuts the holes, it does a very clean and very beautiful circle. Okay, so you can see I've made a few holes. I think I've made around five, six, eight, and 10 millimeter holes. Now, I'll just check simply by eye how close we are to actual size. This one was to make around 10 mils. And there it is, right at 10 mils. And just by looking by eye, I think this one was an eight millimeter one. And very close to eight mil. Next hole, I think I made it six mils, right in there. You know, within a few percent of, there we go, right at six mils, it's tight in there. And the first one, I think I made around five millimeters. And again, very close to five millimeters just by eye, maybe a couple percent off, but very easy to make perfectly round holes and um, get the sizes almost exact. You can see on a, something thicker, two or three millimeters thick, I also did uh, some holes and um, just by eye, Let's see how close we came there. I think this one was a five millimeter, just about right on. This one here is right on six mil, tiny bit over. Uh, eight millimeter hole. And I think this was an 11 millimeter hole. And you know, all very, very close within a couple percent of being perfect. This is very similar to something that I did on my truck. You know, so when you have a piece of, you wanna go through, you can just use your caliper Measure up eight millimeters, have the eight millimeter hole, get a very snug, tight fit. This is I did uh, on the fender well of my truck from the compressor back to my airbags. It was about the same thickness, three, four mils of plastic, and you end up with a perfect fit. A quick example just for the RC car body here. There's a uh, little indentations for lights here. I'd ordered some lights. They were eight millimeter holes is what they requested for to have. You know, you just find out where you want to put the light very lightly push on it and it will just turn it and cut it until you hit the eight millimeter line and it cuts just a perfectly round hole and the accuracy if you look here sorry i'll have to go from this side so you can see the numbers the accuracy should be very close to eight millimeters and there you go very accurate hole, very nice and round, and you can put your light in there, it will fit snug, makes it almost perfect every time. Yesterday I was making a battery pack for my AEG airsoft gun, and uh, we have the caps here, which our wire fits perfectly through, but I was building a cap, which I needed two wires to come off the battery. So using this tool, I very easily bored out the hole quickly, so you can fit two through, and uh, simple, 
we'll go on the top of the battery yet and it makes everything neat and clean so it's a tool that becomes very handy for all kinds of different things around the house you'll find many uses for this tool so if you like this plastic reaming tool you'll find that it's a great addition for anybody who does hobbies arts and crafts or just little fixing around the house uh, it's incredibly handy and you'll find you'll use it more and more for many different things it's a great addition to anyone's toolbox if you'd like to get one, it will be available on our Airsoft Taiwan online shop.